This video will cover a class 1 amalgam preparation on the occlusal surface of tooth number 19. First, set up your armamentarium as shown in this illustration. Envision the cavity preparation outline and extent. In the clinical setting, the dimensions of the preparation are determined by the extent of the carious lesion and faulty existing restoration. Optionally, use your red-blue pencil to draw the outline on the tooth surface to guide your preparation. Place a rubber dam to isolate tooth number 19. Orient the burr perpendicular to the occlusal surface of the tooth and over the central fossa, or in the clinical setting, over the carious lesion. Using the 330 burr, start the drill and penetrate the tooth to create your initial punch cut to a depth of 1 to 1.5 millimeters. Use your probe to measure this dimension. As you extend along the central groove to the mesial and distal, maintain the 1 to 1.5 millimeter depth. As you extend, remember to keep your burr perpendicular to the occlusal surface. Next, extend the preparation outline to create dovetails. By widening portions of the cavity preparation, we increase retention and resistance form. In the area of the mesial and distal pits, extend the preparation outline buckly to create the dovetails. You may also extend the preparation outline to include dovetails along the buccal grooves and lingually along the lingual groove. Create proper convergence and divergence of the preparation walls. Pear-shaped burrs should help create the occlusal convergence of the buccal and lingual walls. To do so, make sure the pear-shaped burr is oriented perpendicular to the pulpal floor. To create mesial and distal divergence, lean the burr towards the marginal ridge, about 5 degrees tipped, to create this divergence occlusally, and brush upward with light, gentle strokes. Using the probe, check appropriate dimensions of the occlusal outline and evenness of the pulpal floor, which should now be about 1.5 to 2 millimeters in depth. The preparation should also measure at least 1 millimeter in the buccal lingual direction. This ideal preparation should now be extended to remove remaining caries clinically. To check for caries, use the spoon, excavator, or explorer. To remove remaining caries, use the largest round burr that fits into the preparation with slow speed rotary or the spoon excavator. To smooth the preparation, you can use the hand instruments such as enamel hatchet or enamel hoe or rotary with straight fissure or pear-shaped burrs. Make sure to remove all steps, ledges, and unsupported enamel. Clean and dry the preparation using the air water syringe. It is now time to examine and evaluate the preparation. Use the explorer to check for smoothness along the cavo surface margin and pulpal floor. Use the probe to check for appropriate dimensions for depth and width. As a reminder, in the clinical setting, final preparation dimensions are determined by carious lesions. Refer to the Class 1 Amalgam Preparation Checklist to guide your evaluation. Thanks for learning with us.